What is up, family? Tay the local trucker here, man. Friday route is over. Man, let me tell y'all, man. I won't go do no video today at all. I won't go do any content. That's how that's how rough the day was. But at the same time, I gotta be authentic and transparent. I don't wanna get up here always talking positive and telling you guys, even though there are rough moments and days that can be really frustrating and then not sharing with you guys. That's not that's not honest, that's not transparent, and that's not fair to y'all. So we're done for the day. 10 stops. 1,250 cases. Finally on my way home. A little over 13 hours. Stuck in traffic on the way back to the yard. But all of that is null and void because the day is over with, guys. But man, let me tell you. I was defeated for half the day. I'm not even going to lie. I was so frustrated. So aggravated. So annoyed. It's been a heck of a week, to say the least, but especially today. I get to the yard this morning, trying to start a little bit early. My load wasn't there, no big deal. When my load finally gets there, I hook up to my trailer, do my quick pre-trip, go to put my hand trucks in the back of the trailer and get my paperwork. Open the trailer door, man, and I got two pallets that have tipped over juices all in the back of the trailer floor cases that go to my first stop that's not on the pallet at all and I had to climb up in the trailer make room just to get my hand trucks up in there I shook that off you know I said okay I'm not gonna let that frustrate me too bad man it is what it is it's a pallet drop for the first stop we can make it do what it do so then I get to the hospital, back up to the dock, open the trailer door, another pallet has fell over, I had to start breaking the pallets down, 10 pallets turning into 13, rolling them in the hospital, again, no big deal, the more I broke pallets down, the more frustrated I got, because it was negligence on the warehouse, and I get it. They work Sunday through Thursday, man. They're ready to go home. Probably had call outs. You know, it could be a slew of reasons of why my pallets were the way they were. I had straps on my load, but half of them wasn't really strapped around the pallet. Or if they were, it was only strapped on one side. The other part of the strap is kind of stuck up on the pallet. So I had four pallets tip over today in total. My second stop is also at the hospital and <laughs> I'm digging through the pallets to get the freezer, the cooler, and the dry. Stop two is mixed in with stop three. Nothing new. Except today, stop two's cooler was mixed in with stop one's cooler. And stop one had three cooler pallets that was dropped off. So I had to go back to the main kitchen, cycle through those pallets to find about 30 cooler items for the second stop. Now I'm getting a little bit of irritation up under my skin because not only was it negligence on the, the building of the pallets and the loading and the strapping, but it's okay. Maybe, just maybe there's too many cases on my load. So why not take a stop off, right? That way everything could fit and nothing would be out of place. But that wasn't the case. So again, I'm digging through them. I get what I need and I go to make the delivery. Get on down to stop three, pretty decent. Stop four, not bad at all. Stop five. Pallet fell over in the freezer. I had two stops that was mixed in with stop five. So it was five, six, and seven. All the stop five stuff was on the very bottom. And it's not just the bottom. For all my food service guys, 
You know what I'm talking about when I say it was on the bottom and to the left back end of the pallet. So it's basically touching the trailer wall. So it's not even like it's on the bottom and facing you. You have to remove almost every item off the pallet. So I had to remove almost 60 something, maybe 70 plus freezer items to get the 17 that I need for stop five. Running down my ramp today, cause I didn't use my ramp until stop four. I have pieces of my ramp that was starting to break off. There was already a couple holes in it that I noticed when I did my pre-trip cause I pulled it out to climb into the back of the trailer this morning, but more pieces started breaking off as the day was going on. My ramp also had a very short lip on the end so only a very small portion would be touching the tail end of the trailer and it didn't have pegs to go in the hole so i'm working with a very unsafe ramp on top of that but listen i say all that to say man for the first five stops of the day because i had 10 i was just getting mentally beat physically beat and sometimes, guys, that just that just happens, man. Sometimes that's just what you have to deal with and accept when you're out here working in food service. And it ain't just food service. It's any form of trucking. Hell, it could be any type of job that you do. You know what I mean? When I was working on the fast food chain of food service back when I was actually serving customers, man... I used to get mentally drained a lot because we were trying to close up and you'd have a school bus pull up with 30 sports kids coming in and yet 30 minutes prior to closing. And of course, you got to serve them. And at nighttime, man, you're a little bit more understaffed than you were in the daytime. That's for sure. So you're working three, four positions at a time while still trying to manage the restaurant. Mentally, physically draining. But I wanted to let you guys know, man, that Every day is not rainbows and butterflies, man. The sun don't always shine. And it's understandable to get frustrated, but it's how you respond. So as the day kept going on, I had to tell myself, Tay, you got to fix your perspective today, man. For one, it's Friday. You know you ain't got to be back till Monday. You know you get to go spend some time with your wife and your children. And then my wife called me with my boys on the phone and that... That also turned my day around, so appreciate you, baby. I really do. It's always a pleasure to hear the kids on the back end. But I had to change my perspective, and I had to change my attitude throughout the day. And once I did that, man, I kicked it into gear. Actually finishing up on time, aside from being held back in traffic, scanned 100%, ran 100% on time for the route. So at the end of the day, did I have to do some extra work? Yes. Was I held up? Yes. Did I do a lot more digging than I had wanted to or intended to do? Absolutely. Was I working a bit unsafe dealing with my ramp? Absolutely. But the job still got done. Customers got served. Everyone was happy. And at the end of the day, when I get that paycheck next week, it's going to be all worthwhile. So it's like I said the other day, guys, you got to continue to think long term. Gotta think end game. And that's that's what it's all about. Adversity happens. Trials and tribulations do happen. But you can't be a victim. You gotta have a victim mindset. Victor mindset. The moment you let your situations take over your mentality and turn you to a victim, you already lost. And the only way to regain that lead is to reshape and refocus your mindset so for the first half of the day i took a big l a big l but it's all good because i got that w in the end i'm tay the local trucker man appreciate y'all tapping in with me checking out the channel as you can see i work for us foods if you like any of my content or find any value from it please consider like commenting subscribing, sharing, or any of those things, or none of those things at all. I hope you do at least one, though.
Appreciate y'all tapping in with me, man. That's my time. I'll see y'all on the next one. We out.